Mr. Sprickman's 2021 to 2022 science class. I am so excited to have you be a part of our scientific adventure this year. It brings me so much joy to have students back in the lab and to get the opportunity to see students make genuine discoveries in person. I hope that you have had a wonderful summer and that you are ready to get back into the schooling mindset. I thought that it might be a good way to start our year by introducing you to me, my class, and what to expect this year before our first day of school. I'd like to start off by telling you a little bit about me. I'm 28 years old. I've spent the entirety of my life in the Bay Area. After growing up in the San Ramon Valley and attending all of the wonderful schools in this district, I went on to Sonoma State University. I graduated from the Hutchins School of Liberal Studies in 2014 with a bachelor's degree cum laude with distinction. I have been teaching science at various levels ever since, and this will be my fifth year here at Iron Horse Middle School, and I am so excited to share my passion of science with my students. And as you can tell by the background behind me, I have quite a few interests, including Star Wars, the San Jose Sharks, Disney, and space. In addition to these, I'm also a huge fan of Legos, photography, and the outdoors. I'm hoping to make connections with my students through some of these interests and build an awesome learning community. With the first day of school right around the corner, I thought it might be helpful to give you a quick glimpse into my classroom and where our lab is located. I remember how hard it was to find my classes on the first day of school, so I wanted to take some of the stress off of the shoulders of my new students and give them an idea of where things are located. With that in mind, let's take a look at where Mr. Sprickman's science lab is located here on campus. And here we are out front of the science lab. The lab is located in room 207 and you'll know that you're in the right spot when you see my name on the door and a blue sign out front. Our classroom can be found on the second story of the large classroom building at the end of the hall. It's also at the top of the inside stairwell, which you see here. Now that we know where the room is, let's take a quick look inside of the lab. Ta-da! Amazing, isn't it? You can see plenty of lab desks, cabinets, counter space, sinks, power outlets, chairs, textbooks, and more. If you look closely, you may see a few cool posters, maybe even a hockey puck or two. And there are even some Legos and other trinkets on top of the cabinets. There are so many cool, sciencey things in this room that we will be using throughout the year. And I'm excited to show you them all. Now at the front of the room is the whiteboard and the teacher desk, which is where I will be, well, most of the time. You'll get to see some pretty cool demonstrations on this desk later on in the year. Anyway, that's the quick tour, and thank you for following along with me. Now that is just a peek into the lab, but don't worry, I'll give you an in-depth tour during our first week of school. If you saw something that you're interested in or would like to know more about, make a note of it and be sure to ask about it when you meet me. I love to share about the things in the lab. This is going to be a very exciting year with so many discoveries to be made. For my seventh graders, we'll learn about the matter around us, the large scale motion of the earth, how organisms interact with one another, and more. The eighth graders will be exploring Isaac Newton's laws of motion. They'll be learning about the movement of the bodies in space, discovering the importance of the fossil record here on Earth, and more. It'll be a jam-packed year. 
of lots of learning, scientific discoveries, and explorations, and I cannot wait to get into it. Well, that'll be all for now. Thank you for watching this introduction video into my science class this year, and I hope that you found it helpful. Keep an eye out for weekly preview videos and newsletters that I send out at the beginning of each week to give you a glimpse into what we will be doing. I'm looking forward to an amazing school year, and I am always available to answer any of your questions, comments, or concerns via email. I'm happy to answer any questions, whether they're science-related or not. Just know that I'm here to help. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get vaccinated if you can, continue to wear a mask in public, and remember to always think like a scientist.